In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, I myself was unable to speak to you as people of the Spirit. I treated you as sensual men, still infants in Christ. What I fed you with was milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it, and indeed you are still not ready for it, since you are still unspiritual. Isn't that obvious from all the jealousy and wrangling that there is among you, from the way that you go on behaving like ordinary people? What could be more unspiritual than your slogans, I am for Paul, and I am for Apollos. After all, what is Apollos, and what is Paul? They are servants who brought the faith to you. Even the different ways in which they brought it were assigned to them by the Lord. I did the planting, Apollos did the watering, but God made things grow. Neither the planter nor the waterer matters, only God who makes things grow. It is all one who does the planting and who does the watering, and each will duly be paid according to his share in the work. We are fellow workers with God. You are God's farm, God's building. The Word of the Lord Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. They are happy, whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Alleluia, Alleluia. The word of the Lord remains forever. What is this word? It is the good news that has been brought to you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Leaving the synagogue, Jesus went to Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever and they asked him to do something for her. Leaning over her, he rebuked the fever and it left her. And she immediately got up and began to wait on them. At sunset, all those who had friends suffering from diseases of one kind or another brought them to him, and laying his hands on each, he cured them. Devils too came out of many people, holding, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. When daylight came, he left the house and made his way to a lonely place. 
the crowds went to look for him. And when they had caught up with him, they wanted to prevent him leaving them. But he answered, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns too, because this is what I was sent to do. And he continued his preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. As we heard the Gospel today, Jesus shows his dedication to the ministry to which he was called by being compassionate to those who are suffering. When at Simon Peter's house, he cures Simon's mother-in-law. Later, he heals those who are physically and spiritually ill. After all of his hours of serving, Jesus needs to be recharged. Therefore, he goes away for a while by himself to spend time in relationship with his Abba Father whose will he seek to do. Jesus ends today's passage by heading out to do more ministry with different people in various locations in the land of the Jews. My dear brothers and sisters, the readings today lead me to focus on ministry and the role of those called to serve. Ministry or service is not always easy or rewarding at the time it is performed. Those who are called to minister want those whom they serve to experience the blessing of God. At least they should want that. Yet, like the Corinthians, some of those to whom we minister mistake our caring and fail to see the mercy of God which motivates our compassion. They think that we are the source of their blessings, yet it is God who empowers us. It is the Lord Jesus who sent us. It is the Holy Spirit who guides us. We are simply doing what God calls us to do. Sometimes we never see the full growth which God works in people's lives because we have moved on in time or space. That also can be hard, yet that is God's plan. What is important is the growth which God gives. Not us as the servants of the Lord Jesus, whether we be planters of seed, waters of plants, or those who weed around the plants. It would be nice to stay with one set of people with whom we have become accustomed. Yet, our life or our ministry is a process which is always changing. We will never be the exact same place with the exact same people doing the exact same thing. For those who like stability, like me, that is particularly difficult. We need to remember that we are pilgrim people, individuals on a journey. We cannot just stay in one place, in one time, at least until we are with God eternally in heaven. As we unite our prayer and thanksgiving to God, let us pray the prayer that God taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Renew by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.